Yo, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's your boy, Dre PG Northwest Finest, and it's another episode of the Five Finger Discount. I got another CEO right here that I, I think everybody in the city knows. Uh, I'd like to welcome Hush Gang Trey. Yeah, get the money fast, no late payment. She know where it's at, she don't gotta say shit. Get a check, spin a check on some day shit. She better bring back double what I gave her. What's happening, what's happening, what's happening, man? What's up, my boy? Come on, man. I appreciate the invite, oh, man. Man, listen, and first of all, it's been a long time coming. Right? Absolutely. We definitely need to get you on the show. Uh, just because, I mean, shit, you put so much work in the town, I mean, you know? But for the for people who aren't from Seattle or Tacoma, tell them, you know, tell them about the Hush Gang brand and tell them about who you are. Oh, uh, man, I'm about collaboration, man. I'm about... uh generational wealth, you know what I'm saying? You know, we got a motto, you know what I'm saying, in my squad, you know what I'm saying, generational wealth, man. And uh, uh, that's what it is. All the way around. All the way around. Beautiful, beautiful. So, I mean, with generational wealth, you know, <laughs> you get the hopes, right? I mean, so, what, what's, your, what's your favorite type of woman? If you could build them like a block, what's your favorite type of female? What's my the favorite type of woman? Yeah, if you just had a boom, bang, bang, bang. I'm going to have her right here and have her sent in a box with a bow on it. There is not one for me. You couldn't build one? Nah, 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 nah. I, I ain't looking for a builder bear You feel what I'm saying? I like something authentic. I like something, you know what I'm saying, real. I like something, you know what I'm saying, strong. You dig what I'm saying? I, don't look, I ain't looking for a builder bear I ain't looking for, you know, none of that. Build a beer. Why you call it a build a beer? I mean, you said, you know what I'm saying? Put them all together. All so, right, that ain't my, that ain't, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Like, 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 the perfect woman, you know what I'm saying, is what you see. Right. Not what somebody else see. Right. So, my taste might not be your taste, so I can't. I'm not gonna build something. Okay. I, I like what I like, but okay, okay. Go ahead. Let's say she's the perfect woman, mm -hmm. but she can't see how you see because she can't see. Are you gonna turn it down? I'm not gonna turn it down if she's the perfect woman because she can't see what but I she, see. No, but she can't see like physically. She's blind. She can't see. Help. Would you turn down a blind girl? No, I wouldn't. No, if I was single. I mean, like I, I like I said, you know what I'm saying. I if mean, you were single, no, I wouldn't turn down a blind woman. I wouldn't turn down a person, um, a beautiful mind. I wouldn't turn down a beautiful heart. I, you know, I, I've thought about it, like dating somebody who is like visually impaired. I feel like that's got to be a real deep mental connection with that person, right? That's what exactly it is. Like, that's crazy. Like, they literally are feeling your face and can, like, see, create but listen, who you are. But listen, that's see, that's, that's the hope and the dream of everybody right there. Yeah. Of what the, the question that you just asked me, yeah. right? Can you see past all my flaws? Right. And that's see true. the heart? That's true. See the mind? You know what? That brings up a good topic, so... I was actually at my barber shop a while back, and this is a long, long time ago. And um, the conversation was brought up: Do you think human beings are capable of unconditional love? Is that, do you feel like you're capable of unconditional love? Like, if something terrible was happening, like in a fictitious way, like some, let's say. I don't know. Like you, you see a girl doing the utmost worst thing you could think of. Are you gonna forgive her? Fight? Are you? Are you? I don't know. Are you gonna walk away, or what's the options there if you are capable of unforgivable love? I'm gonna tell you right now, man. If you truly love somebody, mm -hmm. everyone has flaws. Everyone right. makes mistakes. Right. Understandable. We're human. Women are emotional. 100%. And when you detach yourself from that woman, even though you may be that woman's man, that's the cause of you. Mm -hmm. When that woman is detached from you, mm -hmm. 
That's the cause of her. Okay. You dig what I'm saying? I feel you. So, 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 if we are attached, then we don't have that issue. Yeah. But if we disattach, then we have that issue. But we know if we're disattached. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Even adults play take tit for tat. Let's be yeah. real. Let's be hunter. Let's be a hunter. All day long. Okay? Let's be a hunter. I'm the wrong one. I told you. I told process, listen. It's a process to stop the tit for tat. It, 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 like it, exa it, 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 exa it exactly. I believe in truth. Right. Not dare. Right. I believe in truth. I like that. I believe in truth. You feel me? I like that. Transparency. Mm -hmm. That's why any person that I deal with and work with, I'm transparent. I mean, about, authentic. Let's so. talk about the people you work with, man. I mean, you have dealt with a lot of celebrities. You dealt with a lot. Don't make it sound like that. Celebrities. I mean, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't, don't, have, don't, don't say it like so that. So look. Oh, I mean, how, could, how could that mean anything derogatory? I don't no, know. no, 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 no. But it's like you work with people. Yeah, I do. You've done a lot I, of I shows. Have, I have. I have. You've plenty. done successful shows. Pl plenty. Right? Plenty. Plenty. So, I mean, who was your favorite artist? Like, who was the one that, like, you spent your money and the person you, the, the show went great. Ooh, I'm going I'm to I'm 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 keep it honest. And, 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 and no knock, no knock. It was, it, was, it was great. It was great. Just, and give me a moment. X-rated. X-rated gave me a show. Hmm. Now, I've dealt with Stevie Joe's, um, 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 um. Man, I, I can't even, I, it's, it, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's, quite a, it's quite a few people I've brought here, and people know it. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? And I'm not even, you know, but he gave me a show. So I felt like regardless of the return, my money was worth it because it, I was a fan. Hmm. And he treated me like a human being, so I respected that. And I, was, I, I got the opportunity to be one of the first people to bring him here out of jail. So huh. shout out to X, man. Shout out to X rated. Shout out to X. Hopefully one day we can get him on the show. You know, huh? I know a lot of people who have gotten features from him. Like he comes and shows love to the town. So uh, I, I, I'm, you know, he gave me his personal number and I, I never really used it, even yeah. though I reached out to the brother and did wish him, you know what I'm saying? You know, wells and yeah. you know what I'm saying? And prosperities and all these different things. You dig what I'm saying? And you know, like I said, Oh yeah, I mean, I know what you mean. Like, so <clears throat> I want to say back in the day, this was when, like, you remember the uh, the West Coast rapper Problem? Problem. Problem. You don't give a fuck. Like what? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, Look, right? A little bit. So I forget who it was who booked him, but somebody booked him at Culture Event Center once again. Shout out to Tacoma Culture Event Center, R.I.P. But um, Culture Event Center, uh, he was booked there, and I want to say there couldn't have been more than. 45, 50 people in that place. And if you remember Cultura, that place could easily hold 300 people. Yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, 40, yeah. 50 people in front of the stage is nothing. <clears throat> Man, but I was a fan. I was a real fan. Yeah, for and sure. I got to see him perform oh, live. I, 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 they, was, they was there. Don't get me wrong. People yeah. pulled up. People no, I'm pulled not even up. Saying that. I was just saying, I, what I'm saying is I, I, I vibe with you on the experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. Money is not always important when you actually get a good show absolutely. from the person you're actually a fan absolutely. of. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. I was jumping higher than the bitches up in there. I'm telling I, you, man, listen, I man. You know, I ain't gonna lie. I try to, I, I have to keep my composure. Right. I, for real, I, listen, bro. He, I got a listen, full, listen, 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 like, listen. Oh. It was decked out. We was at the, uh, um, um, Columbus City Hall. Yeah. Right? The, 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 the you know, and, and, and I'm chicken. Everything I, I I plushed it out for my my guy, man. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. he was supposed to be treated. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Professional. Who is the smallest artist you've ever worked with? Smallest artist? I don't consider nobody small. I'm talking about height. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga said the smallest I'm talking motherfucking about artist. Physically short. Who is the shortest artist? Because we because listen, let's keep it real, right? We, me, my, how about this? Or, me, how about this? What? I, I, I've never, I've never worked with a short artist. I've, 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 I've. No, I, I, I can't even say. I'm gonna go ahead and start this over. Go ahead. Because I, I, 
I'll start. Go right? ahead. Go ahead. Go so ahead. I did a show once again called Terror Event Center. Okay. Back in Tacoma. And it was Bobby Valentino. Never seen him. Never seen Bobby? Never. All right. Neither had I until this <laughs> night. Until that night. So, uh, you know, uh, Coulter had a green room upstairs in the back. I did walk past Jacquees. Didn't know he was there. He's also very <laughs> Didn't work uh, with him, though. Right, inclined. Yeah, didn't but work anyways. with him, though. But, um, so, <clears throat> but, um, so Bobby Valentino comes out of the green room because I got lucky enough. You know, I know the owner of the building, so they let me upstairs in the back. Oh, you want to meet Bobby Valentino? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. So, and people who don't know me, I'm mostly sitting down, but I'm 6'2". You know, at this time, I was probably about 180 pounds, right? This dude comes out, and he has on a bright red leather jacket with spikes on the shoulders. And three-fourths of his body mass is head. <laughs> from so you said that nigga had a large head. I'm talking about, remember, the, remember the, he was known for the curl. <laughs> From the curl to the bottom of his chin. You ain't right, bro. Was three fourths of his body mass. The brother was probably, I want to say, like a smooth 4'11, five foot. I was born. And his shoulders were so small. Like it was, <laughs> I can't make this shit up. But when I. You look like a crackhead. That's <laughs> what you said with a big <laughs> ass head. No, you ain't right. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't. He's like an expensive crackhead. That's what crackheads <laughs> look like. Because the boy was, he was drippy. The, the, yeah. the eyebrows was on the oh, He had his makeup. He had his makeup on. <laughs> yeah, he had yeah, it yeah. all right. You know what I'm saying? So. That's a little much. Who was the shortest artist you ever met? Because we all met an artist. Oh. That we thought was huge. And then we meet him in person like, yo. Uh, 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 Jacquees. Yeah. No I, you know, I just walked past. Him. I thought I heard you say work with. No, no just okay, in general. Okay, just, okay, just okay, seen okay. Him. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying. And uh, TK, TK Kravitz. Yes, that's my guy. I mean, my love guy. the show. That's my guy. Love He's the show. Man. I think uh, I think T Fly was another artist. I don't know if you know who that is. He worked with uh, YG and his come up. He was the guy who was singing on all of YG's tracks, and uh, he was extremely mm -hmm. small. Yeah. Blown away. Um, you know what's crazy is Lil Wayne is actually hella buff. He Never is, seen him. And he's like, I have seen him. I've Never seen him. Seen him. I, I got to open for him. I got lucky to open for him at the Xfinity Arena. And you like Lil Wayne? I, I don't want to turn the interview, but. I mean. He cool. I mean, boy. I'm a, I'm, I'm a, Hi, I'm a boy. fan. Listen, listen. Hi I'm boy. a fan. That's it. That's all you got for me. Hot boys. What? That's all you got for me. Wait, wait, I don't no, know about you a Wayne fan? No, I'm not. What? I'm not a Jay-Z fan either. Yeah, I mean, who cares a fuck? Like, Blueprint. I'm not, I'm Blueprint. Not a, I'm, I'm going to give you that. That's I'm it. I'm just saying right now. Blueprint. That's it. Fan. That's all I'm going to give you. But hold I ain't going to give you nothing else. But wait. Not one song from Wayne. Not one. A minute. You, a minute. Not okay. one. Okay. Listen, bro. Come Really? Mrs. Okay, let me just say this. Let me just say. Let me just say this. Let me just say this. Like just say this. Do you believe? Do you believe? Me, Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Listen. Like, wait a minute. Wait. Just hear me out. Just hear me out. Just hear me out. Just hear me out. Okay. At some point, when you're at a, a place, mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck what you say. Mm -hmm. It sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. It sounds amazing because you're at this point right. and you've solidified yourself. Correct. That's it. Okay. There's no critiquing. Right? right, but the real critiquer. Period. Cortique, my brother. I, mean, nah, I don't. I just don't. I, mean, I dig the metaphors. Yes, he, metaphors. He, you know what? He 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 got I, bars, I, I will, I will but like I said, I man, he he came more. They were under, right? And yeah. they were eating, yeah. right? Independent, right? Yeah. Yeah. He went more on the other side. Yeah, became more. Outside of, I don't, I mean, he just became something different, bro. In my opinion. I mean, I definitely um, miss Carter Three, Lil Wayne. I definitely miss Fireman, Lil Wayne. I yeah, definitely miss, he got some time. I, I yeah, there was some club bangers. He got Lil some Wayne, hot shit. Yeah, Lil he Wayne, got some shit, man. Do. He got a couple uh, songs. Yeah, you uh, right. But, you right. Uh, That's my opinion. That's all. 
So, I mean, who is your favorite rapper then? 40. E-40? Absolutely. Hands down, I can't even fucking argue with you about that. Can't argue with you about that. You hear me? I love me some Top to motherfucking 40. bottom. Nigga, what? I ain't saying no Tupac. I, I want some Listen, game. I, I want some game. I want If I want to hear something, if I want to hear something, I want to hear something. I want to hear some ism too. I want to hear something. I want to hear something that's going to be polished, man. And he going to tell me something. He's going to get me Come all on, the way around. Come on, man. I mean, what, what I what I know what I know where I come from. Yeah, he I gonna mean, give me where I come from. I don't I know about of, that other when shit. When I think of West Coast legends, I ain't got big chains and I mean, really. that shit don't matter. I don't care about that. Because most of the like to be honest, nigga, uh, you, your swag is the same as Ice Cube's. He be sitting the same way. I listen the same way. Cube is sitting the same way. You be sitting right here. It's not about all that. It's about what you achieve. Your accolades shine above any. I, piece that's of what I'm saying. I'm normalized though, but I'm normalized. I, you know what I realized, man? A lot of the cats that's really doing it, that's really got the bag, that's really grinding, they don't need no extra jewelry. You know I don't need none of that. And here's the thing. I bet you got something in the drawer somewhere if you wanted to. I know. Mean, you know. And here's the thing. It's because if there's I a, want there's a, to, there's a time, there's a time, there's a time, there's a time and place for everything. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything don't need to be known or said or seen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so what is your favorite part? about being an event coordinator? Man, I love to have fun. I love to bring joy to the next motherfucker yeah. in every way possible. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Period. Point blank. That's it. I don't, I don't know how no other way to put it. It don't got nothing to do with the money. You know what, man? You know what? It's going to come. That's going to come. If that's what you're looking for, then it ain't gonna come the right way. It's gonna come the wrong way. I'm but, looking. I'm looking for the positive energy. I'm looking for the people that want to really have fun. But what if that really want to enjoy themselves? What if you can give out positive energy, right, and still make a shit ton of money? Absolutely. Yeah. I, I mean that. Why, why not? I mean that's the. Oh, that's my goal. That's your goal. That's the goal, right? I mean, because that's my so, goal. That's my but, goal. But 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 I'm not looking to get rich off of. My people, my 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 friends, my I'm not I'm not looking to solicit. I'm looking for you to give you something that is enjoyable. That is that that you can feel safe. I mean, I'll keep it one thousand with you. What's right? that? And this this is just me and you. What's that? My friends don't come to my parties, brother. Mine do. Mine don't. Mine do. Mine don't. Mine do. And that's the reason why I say, for me. These people, of course, I don't charge my friends, but when they, they it's very like I get, I've seen you. Can I? Can I? Hold on, go, go, go ahead. I've seen you multiple times with your friends, and to be honest, I'm a little envious because I that is a beautiful fucking thing to have lifetime connections with people. You know what I'm saying? So, like for me, I still can't figure it out. Like I probably have maybe one or two homeboys that I kick with on a regular basis. Them niggas do not come to my shows. But you know who do? People who I've never met in my life. People who see my social media and say, I want to go meet that guy. Because it's your energy. But your in your energy. My 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 relationships that I've built, right, is people that see my dream, right? And see the things that I see that have the loyalty that they have to me, which I have the lo the loyalty to them. That's why I say it. My present, what I, my always, my ultimate goal is to make you have fun, right. to enjoy, to be you, right. and not nothing else, and feel comfortable in the environment that you in. Okay, so let's go ahead, and we gonna take everything, all the all the good juices and berries, right? Shit. And we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna sit those in the bowl for a second. Go ahead, put them in the bowl. And we gonna talk about the bitches. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, that's what we calling them tonight. We ain't talking about the women. We ain't talking about the, the ladies we respect. We're not talking about the mamas and the baby mamas. Because we love them too. We talking about the bitches. Because we didn't dealt with a few bitches in our lifetime. Okay? I'm going to tell you about mine first. <laughs> so that way you can feel comfortable about telling me about yours. Okay? So you I, want a story. You... I, I, a quick one. A, a little <coughs> bigger, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Well, check this out. 
I had a female. Oh, Jesus. No gag reflex. I don't, drop, I don't drop names like that. I ain't gonna say her name. No gag reflex. Body on 10, booty like wow. Attitude on 100,000, million, billion, trillion, zillion, broke the skill. You said what? The attitude. Oh, shit. It was terrible. Shit. Man, Shorty was evil. I, she, she robbed my house. Ooh. Called my job. Told them to tell me somebody robbed my house. I got on the phone. She's like, yeah, I took all your shit, nigga. You better come home. I get home, my door's open, all my shit's gone. Here's the, sh here's the fucking humdinger, right? Uh, I need a humdinger. She calls me the next day, calls my job. I worked at LA Fitness at the time at the gym. She sends me a picture of all my shit outside my door. And she says, see, nigga, don't you see how much I love you? I brought all your shit back. I could have robbed you. That's a biatch. Crazy. And then on top of that, I wound up having to put a restraining order on her. Real shit. I know you got one in here. I know you got at least one crazy, wasn't trying to let you go ass female. You check, fly. Check, check this out. <laughs> I don't need it, because I don't really need it. It never happened. Let me just say this, I, I don't, listen, I don't want the energy, bro. And, and, <laughs> I don't want the energy that I went through to even talk about it, to be truthful with you. <laughs> I don't even want to bring up micro mini specs I, of the energy. Because guess what, guess what? Bitch, my papa. Le nigga, <laughs> on Cetus. On say, hey, listen. I know exactly no. what the fuck you Shit, no, fuck that. No, nah, fuck that. He nah, said nah, the hell no. He said the no way. No way. It ain't no secret either, no. though. He said she might pop up. No, nigga, it ain't no, it ain't no, it ain't no, it ain't no, shit. I wish the fuck I would. I wish the fuck I would. All right, all right. Next question. Listen, y'all know what the fuck you came for. It's the five-finger discount. If he didn't know, he about to find out. So, you seem to be a very intelligent brother. I like the energy I get from you. And you have an, an original swag about you. Like, you don't seem like you're trying to overcompensate for anything. It's, it's just authentically you. You know what I'm saying? And you also, you know, seem like you've settled down. You, you, I know our off camera you were telling me that you got a good lady in a good situation. Absolutely, love you're it. You're happy with your situation. Shout out Diamond. Um, you know what I'm saying? Diamond, you got it just for a good one. Come on. But you came from somewhere, nigga. Absolutely. Have you ever eaten ass? Negative. Not even one time. Not even one time. Half a time. Listen, you know what? Can right. I, nigga, I did my research on you. Oh, is that right? Yeah, you ain't gonna get me. <laughs> that is a negative sir. Listen. Yeah? Listen, listen, man. What necessary? A million. I eat some Gucci now. I mean, I suck I on some Gucci. Gucci. I suck on some. Now, now Gucci, don't get that. All that. that ain't, we mixing. That ain't. That, that. But, but listen, no, listen. Never you gotta, you gotta know where you at. To the dirty. You gotta know where you at. You know, I know. You gotta know where you at. I know where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. That ain't. That ain't where I'm at. I'm gonna tell you that right now. That's what for real. Say. That's what he say. All right. I believe it. I tell you, his you. lips still pink, and he smoked a lot of weed. Can't you motherfucker, no right? Ass. You motherfucker, right? Not in twenty twenty three, but you got you a good woman now. So if she asks you to, you can't say no. See, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you's a wild ask boy. Him. Ask him. You's a wild boy. <laughs> you's a wild hey, boy. It's the five finger discount. <laughs> if you didn't know why we called the five finger discount, it's because I used to steal shit. Yo, we out. Yeah, get the money fast, no late payment She know where it's at, she don't gotta say shit Get a check, spend a check on some day shit She better bring back double what I gave her yeah. <clears throat> Alright We got a tradition, on the count of three, we always clap Alright One, two, three I'd say, I don't know if you did a couple claps. I don't know if you did three claps. You're a loser.